Hello, <clears throat> excuse me, hello. Today what I would like to look at is um, brightness. So in reality we're going to look into DIMS, D-I-M-S. So what we're going to do is create a brightness page. Um, for one, DIMS, D-I-M-S, by default on this, on the from the factory itself is 85% um, by default which uh, it can be manipulated by using DIMS DIMS and that's what we're going to go ahead and look at today so on the screen here I created a brightness pa uh, page um, so on here it'll show right now the default is 85 percent uh, we created a button um, this time we did not use buttons we used hotspots um, i was trying to conserve on memory um, so we use these uh, i use these as hotspots and then this one is from my number keypad this one too is a hotspot so let's uh, let's look into uh, creating this uh, first let's go ahead and begin as into let's see where to begin the page itself um, so let's start off with the plus so I set up to this one's a number um, this one's a number page or a number um, uh, how do I call it? field this one's a number field um, so I had set it up to where it's 85% uh, if you scroll to your attribute the value it automatically just set up to 85% 85 and the percent sign well that's another field as well that one is a uh, te um, text field so I just where it's just an 85 uh, which is the percent sign if you go to the attribute itself that one's just a percent so let's begin with the now with the plus one since um, okay since well, let's look at it here the first line here um, so for the plus one, the first field we're looking at, um, N0, which I did show to be the 85, we changed it to the 85, uh, N0 dot the value equals to N0 dot value plus one. So as prior to the prior video, this is how we set up a scrolling upward on the number 85. Um, same thing for the minus sign on you do the same thing but minus so then we go into the second field which is DIMS D-I-M-S and then we're setting that to equals to N0 dot values so whatever the N0 is uh, it DIMS the screen Now, I'd like to add to where, do keep in mind, DIMS, D-I-M-S, uh, that means any page and every page will be dimmed to uh, that specific percentage, as opposed to D-I-M, uh, D -I -M, DIM, it'll just be that one page. So, that's what we're just looking at DIMS today. Uh, in the future, we'll look into DIM. So... For dims, so dims, so we're looking at this one here, dims is equal to n0 dot the value. So I also added an extra line here um, because if you, you can, after it reaches 100%, it'll go to 101, 102, all the way up to 300, but there's no 300%. So I had an, an if statement. If the n0 value is greater than or equal to um, 100, then the N0 value is just equal to 100. 
it's very self-explanatory there, but that's it. It just won't go any further than 100. So let's look at the minus part. Um, I should add that too. Let's see. No, da, da, da. So for the minus part, um, same thing, same first line, n zero dot val. Well, that's actually actually exactly the same. It's n zero dot val equals to n zero dot val minus one, because we're going one less from the eighty five. And the dims equals to n zero dot the dot value. And this one too has an if statement on its own. So for this if statement, it's if um, the open bracket and zero dot value of less than one. So if it's less than one, like zero, um, it shows here that the n zero dot value will uh, will go back uh, to eighty five, and the dims will equal to 85 because um, I was playing with it earlier the reason for this if statement here is that right when it hits zero it's completely black and there's no way of, of determining what page you're on or where you're at or how to increase it again so with one you can barely see it into the light um, but I, I set it up to and not any more less than one for the fact that also um, um, you also want to conserve um, energy so in the future as opposed to keeping at 85% all the time eh, you can bring it down to one and conserve on energy where you can barely still see the screen to manipulate the screen so okay that's done also, another thing too, let's look at the page, the entire page itself. So, let's see here. So, let's look at the entire page. I'm going to go to the attribute. This is my brightness page. And this one has a code of its own as well. So, let's look into that. So, for this one, for the page itself, um, right if you look at right here this one just means right when it comes to the page um, so we're setting it up to where it's dims is equal to n0 dot value um, so for this statement um, right when it gets to the page it's gonna look at the n0 uh, value and keep it at that brightness and also this one has a if statement as well right when it comes into the screen if the n zero value is greater than or equal to 100 eh, it'll just be 100 the n zero value would just be 100 um let's see i didn't do a less than um Maybe I should, but I'll just keep it at that for now. I was thinking you could do an if, if it's less than or equal to one, it'll automatically just jump to 85%. So you can see the screen itself as opposed to having to squint and manipulate it. So right when it jumps into the screen, but I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. And we'll look into it into the future. I'll look into it into the future in my to my program. But you can always add something like that. Um, another thing too is um, into the pages themselves. Uh, don't forget to change their V scope to uh, global. If you're moving stuff around, information back and forth. Like in this one, didn't didn't have to be global for the page itself. Did not have to be global, but their fields themselves. Don't forget to since you're moving information from field to field to set them up as global. So 
so and this the keypad here and it's just a regular uh, keypad it's where after it released the screen itself um, it just goes into the keypad so let's look into let's look at see how it looks into the debugging here So we can set it up to 900. It doesn't go to larger than 100. And this one, I'm not going to scroll all the way down. We can cheat it to go to the keypad. We can go to 3. Enter. So it's 3. And let's go all the way down to 2, 1. Jump to 85. And you don't, don't forget anything. When it hits zero, it's completely black and you really can't manipulate it. You can't see where your buttons are at. So that's why I set that up as, as one. Um, so let's look into the, um, the device itself. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can see it here. So this is what it looks like. Go to keypad. Let's cheat it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit three. Enter. So it goes really, really dark. And then to one, it won't go to zero. It'll just jump to eighty-five. And of course, it'll go all the way up to hundred, and it gets a little bit brighter. Not much of a difference. And. That will be it for this segment. Uh, let's enter three. Excellent. So I hope you see this to be helpful. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you have a wonderful day.